hey guys welcome back to other interesting video uh, in this uh, sheet metal series we are at episode 2 so today uh, we are going to uh, see uh, this model um, this product which is almost uh, close to automobile where we can extend the uh, a pavilion uh, you know where we can just store some package over there and to increase the you know seating capacity so this is just a sheet metal part which is more related to automobile so uh, today we are going to learn a, a form tool and uh, multiple bendings in a different uh, angles so uh, this sheet metal part without wasting much time uh, let's get started with a new uh, part so uh, hope this will help you uh, to understand like how the multiple bendings can help uh, to make this kind of a profile it's going to be very simple so to, today we'll be learning do more, more stuff on this uh, sheet metal features okay uh, let me go to a new part mm -hmm. so I have a dimensions which I have done before like so I'm just going to make sure those will be the same so uh, make sure to select the top line you can start from the top and make a center line as uh, doing for all like we have to make sure the dimensions by starting from the base or a center so this uh, bay, I mean the center lines will help all the time like to make sure uh, kind of a reference in order to make kind of a, this cement rakes and just reference from the coordinate okay oops I will be changing to mm I'll be going back to uh, again the sketch so now if you select uh, the line from the base I would like to have uh, maybe sorry uh, height should be 100 I like to have and this should be uh, 60 and I will try to make 10 degree yes okay so now um, the the top of the base is ready uh, uh, to proceed with the initial base flange so in order to create a sheet metal this is the starting point where we have to create that so now you can select the sketch and now uh, we can go ahead with the 2 mm so based on your requirement you can change that and k factor and bending this all like we will see in a separate video like how to consider the k factor and the bending elements all the stuffs right now we are in a basic like you know to understand the future of the sheet metals so now i'm going to select okay so to the sheet metal part will be at 2 and uh, yes so uh, <coughs> now i'm going to create a edge flange so what I'm gonna do here is like I'm gonna select uh, this edge. I'm gonna create like this. So um, what we will do is like uh, the both sides, left and right, will be the symmetry. So we don't need to create each flange at uh, every time. So we will make at the one side and we'll chop it up and then we'll do the mirror. Yep. So I'm gonna show that in in uh, upcoming future. So. Uh, first let me uh, make sure this flange should be in a different angle so what I will do is like I will just try to make a 15 degree yeah I just want a little open uh, from this you know from the top so now <coughs> I'm gonna create a sketch so I need flange profile I don't want like square I just want some uh, profile which I would like to have so uh, now I'm gonna make some you know uh, finish I will just right okay I will remove this and I'm gonna bring here uh, okay so just rack it like this yep so now I will make 10 degree so make sure all like a 10 uh, for now uh, from this to profile and this should be uh, I would like to have 16 um, uh, moreover you can if you want you can make 20 uh, it's up to you uh, so I'm then gonna select finish so what happens is it will create as per our profile customized profile so uh, now uh, it's easy for us to maintain uh, such kind of profile so now again <coughs> in the bottom uh, which we would like to have uh, again one more uh, edit profile 
so I'm gonna select same edge flange I'm gonna select this edge I'm gonna bring it here so it's supposed to be a straight uh, from here so since we have done from here to here 50 degree so in order to maintain 90 we will create from here to here 40 so let me show you yes so it will be like straight now and again I would like to have it uh, edit flange profile so uh, let me show you oops okay If you want, you can keep straight, else you can also change, you can play with multiple things. Here, I will remove this. So, uh, I'm gonna keep this both as parallel, yeah, because I want a straight profile. So, from here to here, I can maintain some dimension like 65, and this will let it be a 40 or 45 also should be fine now <clears throat> from here to here it's supposed to be 70 so it has some angle over here so now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna make one another profile which is this is supposed to be a perpendicular actually so that we will make like make sure this should be perpendicular to this 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 perpendicular yeah perfect so now again uh, same angle will maintain uh, from this but again I'm just a little curious like why this is coming in a angle so I just want to maintain this both as a parallel yes now this should be 70 yeah so now we have to constrain here somewhere around 15 yes and we have to constrain this as well okay oh sorry we will delete this just yeah so all, almost like we have um, constrained all the dimensions uh, this both are uh, should be par perpendicular to this and this should be base i mean like to match with this profile so you can always have a straight so now uh, we'll go with the finish so that it will be like um, automatic uh, auto relief being created here so now this looks good uh, to to play yeah yep and now the second thing is like we will have to maintain the other one uh, which is has to be a uh, connector to the uh, a bike or a two wheeler so um, so let me again uh, go with the future sheet metal uh, with again edge flange so yes so now you can play like how how do you want to connect that so either you want to create a 30 degree or 20 degree something like that so it's just all uh, up to you uh, which you would like to have and now again i'm planning to edit the profile so this all like we are going to customize our you know sheet metal parts rather than uh, creating a, a profile so i'm just going to create this stuff so i again i uh, just want to make sure this two uh, either you can create a straight or uh, since uh, i would like to edit the profile for you guys so i'm just uh, remove this constraint so uh, now I'm gonna make such things to make an angled profile. This too I will maintain as symmetric. Okay. So now uh, from this line to this line, I'm gonna constrain 80. No, I should be 80. So uh, uh, this center line to this here, uh, it's supposed to be three degree, two degree, whatever, like whichever you like, you can maintain that. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna select finish again. So again, it will be there. And now, uh, in order to avoid a sharp, like if we can also go ahead with a, a fillet, uh, which is like <coughs> three phase fillet. Uh, so I'm gonna select each 
paste from here and again here so yes now it looks good okay the three degree is too much like we will go with two degree uh, so that it will have some space over there yes perfect so uh, almost like we have done here so now um, I'm just gonna create a cut to make the profile little aesthetic for the bike riders who like to have little you know a ragged or you know kind of a transform uh, look so uh, which I'll just make a kind of a relief or an uh, um, or material but just you can keep like how this product has to be uh, look as per your design you can just play but i'm gonna say you like a lot of options which is available like you can just always play with around uh, the product so how you want make sure it should be both should be uh, equal oh sorry uh, parallel and now we'll make six mm or like from this edge to this edge will be six and uh and uh will maintain twelve either parallel whatever like you I'm just giving a random value uh, but you guys can play how how do you want same thing can happen over this also this area you just maintain and remove this relief if you are planning to cut over here you can always try to remove this okay anyway i'm just going to be it here that's it so just hold here i think this should be both should be yes and also you can give a, a equal <laughs> so that it will be as yes. and maintain the same 50 degree over here also perfect and remove the material done mm -hmm. so now again go for a radius some radius you can give some Five should be fine, but you can just maintain it all over throughout this face. I mean, throughout this edges, like, but it is quite, yeah, nice, perfect. Now we gonna copy the same thing for the other side. So I'm gonna split uh, this first to remove this. Um, the extra which is not required uh, if you are uh, planning to do that like before only you can make sure the sketch should be at this level and then you can directly go ahead with the mirror to avoid the split so i am just giving an option so where you can try the split option as well so a mirror face like you can select the face and go ahead with the body mirror and make the solid so that it will be as a single product so now uh, still you have uh, chances there are people will ask like if you do the murder split can we get a flattened pattern so yeah you can always go with a flattened pattern it will consider as a single sheet metal part with the bending lines so <clears throat> up to here i hope it was clear please please do come in and subscribe to my channel for more interesting video uh, so i am hope i'm not boring with uh, you know uh, this training uh, so uh, please do come in uh, what do you feel and how, what do you want from the solidworks so i can try to cover up more uh, you know uh, in upcoming uh, videos i will definitely consider your comments so please do come in so now um, uh, what I'm going to do here is like we are going to use a forming tool. Okay. Uh, so how to use forming tool. So before that, we need to create a, a die in order to press in the sheet metal part. So for that, uh, so what I'm going to do here is like I'm going to create a new part. Okay. So uh, for that, like I'm going to select control N. So it will be considered, it will be asking a pop up. So we will select a part again. So uh, so my, my plan is like I'm gonna use uh, this surface or this surface to bulge the profile like 
I just want some kind of a, 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 a kind of a slot which has to be uh, you know uh, from the maximum to minimum it has to be get bulge so you can select you know however you want like various profile you can do extrude cut or a or x or whatever but i'm gonna use now a forming tool i will help you to understand like how to use so that you can make sure your profile you can play a lot of things in that okay <clears throat> so now again i'm gonna select the top so it'll be easy to bring it the part over there so again i'm selecting a reference okay so i'm gonna draw uh, the base i mean we know the outer dimension of that so i will be drawing that oops 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 oops, oops always how to change this uh, default session so please to comment how to change this i'm just gonna <laughs> kidding you i know that but just tell people if you are uh, new that just may come in the, give me a second like how to change this unit uh, rather than changing all the time so you just let me know in the comment section it's gonna be a quiz for you guys 60 so i'm gonna select this to uh, line and now I'm going to select this to 10 degree. Okay, so this is a base. So I'm going to select this right click going to select the chain. And now I'm constrain uh, construction line. I don't want this, but uh, rather than that, like I'm going to offset this to this. Oh, sorry. Select chain, do not select. Mm -hmm. Better, I will offset this. Yes, here, here, here. I would like to offset like 10 mm. So, this is what I want. So, I'm gonna create a uh, next tool. So, <coughs> around 10 mm in the works see it's like it depends like just i need a surface so if you want 5 mm or 2 mm or 1 mm also should be fine so now i'm just gonna create as i as you guys saw in the preview uh, or a thumb line like the same kind of a profile which i'm going to create uh, so here i would like to have around 50 and if you see this is supposed to be at the center okay, i'm going to select this and make sure this and this to be um, 15 will create let's see like i don't know um, well i'll we'll make sure that uh, radius 8 um, then it should be 4 because i've created a, a, a width of the profile 8 so now it should be 4 yeah fine so thickness will create somewhere around uh, two will be fine or three two should be fine okay let's see we can play with this so now uh, go ahead with the linear pattern and select the direction and select the future which i want to have it make sure it should be 20 and uh, flip the direction yes now uh, you as you know like i want an uh, uh, uh decree decreased or an incremental i mean like decreased in while well, uh, you know make sure the profile has to be aligned with that so uh, in order to use that so you can in sense to vary which dimension you would like to have so you can select this dimension 50 and i want an incremental of 5 so the 55 60 but in order to reduce that you have to make sure it should be minus 5 select and select minus 5 okay so that <coughs> well well you know uh, transferring that so you will be having it in this way <coughs> yes so you can select here if you see it will be automatically considered like okay anyway i'll select okay and then i'll show you yes make sense 
but 20 I think looks a uh, little extra like I will make something like somewhere around 50 or maybe I would have forgot that Hundred. Mm -hmm. sorry uh, uh quickly i checked that like i have done one mistake which is like uh, the increment should be 20 and 4 uh so this is how it looks actually so we will be having a space where you can see or uh, you know uh, the dimension which i have maintained 100 rather than have been done uh, 100 over here so only the small changes like the last no going to affect here so um <clears throat> So now uh, it was pretty, pretty clear for us to maintain that. Mm. Also, we can just increase slightly. Uh, let's see, like how much radius we can give on the top. Uh, four point five or four. Yes, we can select four of this and. Let's go with five or four point three four it should be fine. Yep. So after creating this profile, I just want this has to be embossed in the sheet metal part. So now uh, you have an option called uh, in sheet metal again go for a forming tool. So uh, here you have to make sure which face it, you have to get stop and which face has to be get removed. But I don't want to remove anything on the sheet metal part. It has to be get embossed. So I don't want to use this face to remove option. Only I want to stop where I want to stop. I want to stop with this face. So I want to select that. So I'm going to select OK. So the rest all what happens is below this it will get stop and above that whatever the face you will be end up with an yellow. But again, I will show you for your reference face to remove. So if you want to remove the face, like you can always select this for an example, which I'm going to select here. Uh, this will help you to understand better. Yeah. So except this, uh, this face will be get removed. Okay. But our, uh, for now, we don't want to use that so that I'm going to remove this here. I'm going to select. Okay. So uh, this part you, you can save and uh, yes you can save this part uh, as a form tool okay so you have to save uh, a particular thing and uh, i already been saved as a, a you know a solidworks form tool and i've been navigated that into a my uh, navigated sorry uh, here if you see I've been already navigated this part here so now um, but in order to navigate here like um, I will explain like how to this uh, design library to add this part uh, before that let me, let me go to that uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry sorry guys so let me go to uh, go back to the a forming uh, tool which we have created as a part so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save as so uh, here if you see uh, it's wherever like in some location you have to share uh, I mean you have to select and you have to select the save as type that's supposed to be a form tool yes so once you do this, like already I've been saved, so you can save this same in the format. So I'm going to cancel this. So uh, again, I will go back here uh, in order to add the library. You can have the library add new file location. So uh, you can navigate to that particular location and come back uh, so that the episode two will be get selected. So I have already been done the model here and the new part was created here and the form tool uh, will be available uh, to use to create the embossed profile so i'm gonna just drag i'm gonna drop here over here so if you do here uh, it will be uh, embossed in this direction so you can flip this yes and also you can rotate 180 degree 
yeah now it makes sense so now we have to make sure it should be at the center okay i'm gonna select the profile so here at the center i'm gonna create a center line to sheet middle part to align the profile so uh, i'm just drag the center and i'm gonna keep here so that almost it will be close to that i'm gonna select now okay come back select okay yes so as you can see this got embossed now but uh, if you do a uh, uh, flatten pattern so it will not be uh, visible i mean like if you do even flatten this will be there so uh, this is a separate tool which you have to suppress while i know giving a, uh, a dfx file for the laser cutting so yeah uh, so hope uh, you like this video and please do comment like you know uh, what you are looking for in a sheet metal or in solidworks uh, that will help me to create a lot of videos you know this channel is very uh, you know in a low uh, subscription and i would like to increase and do a lot of stuff in my uh, channel so i need a kind support uh, and please do share with your friends who is looking for the solidworks trainings uh, so I will uh, meet you in the next interesting video. Uh, so definitely that's going to be a, a kind of a more uh, features will be get covered. Uh, please do subscribe. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Have a good day.